Hello, welcome to a number of properties lesson, and we are going to be understanding exponents today. So this will be fun, because it captures the essence of what an exponent is. It's how many times you multiply something together. And if you just multiply, if you don't multiply it by itself, except by itself, I mean, they, if you just have one of it, that's 16 to the first power. If you then multiply it by itself, that's 16 to the second power. And if you multiply it by itself again, that's 16 to the third power. So the moral here is count the number of times that the multi that it appears in the multiplication, right? So the W here is three. And you get the idea, four times four times four, how many fours are there? Another way of seeing this is if you know these rules, right? It's one, 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 right? So it would be four to the one plus one plus one. So it's three. Okay. How many 19s are there? Three. Okay. How many fours are there? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, right? All that's, all those are four to the one, right? So that's four to the one plus one plus one plus one plus one. But again, we don't have to write all that out. We understand that there are five fours, so it should be four to the fifth. Okay, no tricks here. There are three 36s, so 36 times 36 times 36, W equals three. Ah, this is, this is a little bit trickier, right? This is a good level here. So this 42 is going to go here, and these 18s are going to go here. Right, so how many 42s do you have? They don't, don't get tricked. You have one 42, right? So 42 to the first. And how many 18s do you have? You have four. So, so W should be one, and X should be four. How about this? All right, well, we've got 48 times 48, so that should be 48 squared. And we have 22 times 22 times 22, so that, that should be 22 to the third. And so we have W equals two and X equals three. We're gonna get done with this one really quick, guys. 31 shows up four times. 17 here shows up one time. You could also put a one, 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 and add those ones and get four. So W equals four and X equals one. All right. Four twos. One thirty seven. So we have W equals two. And oh, why did I write four? There are four twos. There should be four here. Sorry. There's one thirty seven, so there should be one. So W equals four, and X equals a one. Okay, interesting. So this is 11 to the third. And this is one to the second. This is a little bit of, of a weird one, right? Because one to any power is just one. So in theory, any X would work. But to match the other problems, let's be consistent. So we have W equals three and x equals two. Oops, I was on scratch pad. All right, there we go. Okay, let's see if there's anything interesting in the later ones. Okay, so it's the same ideas, but it's harder to keep track of. So we've got a bunch of 42s, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two thirteenths. So 42 to the seventh, 13 squared. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 13 squared. And I'll let you have fun filling these in. It's kind of cool. Oh, there are three of them here, right? But same idea, right? Three nines. How many twos? Three twos. Three nines, three twos. How many 34s? 134. Okay, I think you'll have fun filling these in. So get to it.